he got her in this area. Like she literally just walked out the door. And Lori Gottenboss recalls the last time she saw her 13-year-old Sophie alive. Recently let outside, the 12-pound pup was snatched up by a coyote and taken up the hill to Boucherie Mountain. I used to keep an eye on her because she was getting blind and deaf. So, and a little demented, I think. She was 13. So she would walk down the driveway, so I'd keep an eye on her. So I went to the window to look for her. Couldn't see her on the deck. And then I looked up and the coyote was right there with her limp in its jaws. Gottenboss has lived in her West Kelowna home for 10 years, and never once has she encountered what she believes is dangerous wildlife. Especially that one. Yeah, those are puppets. Yet the morning Sophie was taken, Gottenboss's partner came across multiple coyote tracks. He was surprised how many there are up there. He said it's just, you know, pathway after path, crisscrossing all over the place and fresh, like he could actually follow the fresh tracks because the other ones were sort of frozen. Um, and he was very surprised how many were up there. Over 800 calls to conservation regarding coyotes in BC were made in 2013. 250 calls reported incidents with pets, a 25% increase, which conservation says is due to no more than public awareness. Kites are opportunistic, and you know they will hunt uh, at any at any time. But they do prefer the cover of darkness, and and that morning, uh, evening uh, period, really important for people, of course, to take their pets in. Coyotes mainly hunt rodents and have adapted to the urban environment, coexisting among humans. We've got neighbors all around us, and kids, and other animals, and this was in the daytime. And as they don't hibernate, they are opportunistic hunters at all times of the year. But that first sight that I saw, like I just, it, I was, yeah, it's shocking to see that. And they're so brazen, they just didn't even, it just walked along like nothing. The big thing with, with your pets is, you know, is to take them in at, in at night for sure. Uh, keep your yard uh, free of attractants. And, you know, by attractants, I mean, don't leave the pet food outdoors. And people really have to, you know, avoid the temptation to ever feed uh, coyotes. Because, you know, that that's just, uh, you know, making the coyotes far too comfortable with, with humans. Lori hopes by sharing her story of losing little Sophie that her neighbours who live above Boucherie Road in West Kelowna will keep a closer eye on their pets and loved ones. I think for me the most important part is I was naive, I didn't realise that they hunt during the day um, and for anybody that lives in this area they're aggressive so you, you got to keep an eye on your pets. Jen Zielinski in West Kelowna for Castanet News.